It's 11 trivia questions for my friend Brenda Martinez's birthday this past July on a topic she picked months ago called Harry Potter. This is Trivia with Buds. It be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. If you like trivia, you're in the right place. This is Pop Culture Heaven. We do episodes every single day on things you're into, like the Back to the Future series, Goofy Movie, Wrestling, Blink 182, Beavis and Butthead, and other things that I could ramble off from my desk, but those are just a few. Uh, thank you so much for checking out the show. Thanks for the iTunes reviews you guys have been leaving. We're up to 160 reviews on iTunes, and those are greatly appreciated because they help get more eyes and ears on the show. If you've been listening for a while and you want to give me a free Christmas present that just takes you a minute, go leave an iTunes review review and tell people why you like this show. Remember, it comes out every day. And even if I miss a day, I will update the next day with two episodes. Or if I miss two days, three episodes, etc, etc. If there's a certain topic you want me to do, go donate $5 or more on patreon.com slash trivia with buds and join the other 60 folks that really are fans of what I do. Thank you so much to all the Patreon people out there in the world from all different countries and states in the U.S. I am very grateful for you, especially this time of the year. I am excited for today's episode, which is all about Harry Potter with some fun, fresh questions, some uh, not too hard questions, if I had to say so myself, for any regular speed Harry Potter fan. And these were uh, picked and recommended by my friend Brenda Martinez, who in July on our uh, ongoing Patreon Excel sheet said, hey, can you do Harry Potter for my birthday? So, Brenda, happy birthday six months later. Here we are with your Harry Potter episode. Christmas is just around the corner, and I was reading an interesting article on usnews.com. It says, the states with the most Christmas spirit. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. It says, Tennessee was among the top states, top 10 states, for the most Christmas tweets, Christmas music listening, and Google searches for Christmas movies. Utah's status as the most charitable state in the nation helped propel it to the number two spot and get centuries links ranking. The report references an IRS report, which revealed that Utah residents collectively donated 4.8% of their adjusted income in 2018. So that's an interesting fact. Uh, And then it says the bottom five states, Arizona, Florida, California, Hawaii, and Nevada are located in warmer climates, though colder states such as New Jersey and Michigan also made the bottom 10. Washington fell significantly in this ranking, dropping from first place in 2018 to number 21 this year. So basically they look at all the different things going on in these uh, states in terms of tweets and uh, social media searches and things like that. And they said Tennessee is number one. North Carolina, Utah, and Ohio, and Alabama round out the top five states with the most holiday cheer. The report's based on 10 measures, which include Google searches for Christmas shopping trends, the number of Christmas songs streamed, the number of Christmas tree farms per capita, and the amount of charitable donations. Tennessee is known for a few Christmas traditions that may help explain its top spot this year. For more than three decades, more than 100 tuba players have performed Christmas carols at a church in the heart of Music City in December. And Franklin, a city just south of Nashville, holds a festival Festival each December, where visitors can see people dressed as characters from Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. The two-day festival attracts approximately 65,000 visitors annually, according to the Tennessean newsletter. So there you go. There's some fun facts for you about Tennessee being the most Christmassy state. My brother Tom lives in Chattanooga. And uh, everybody down there is very friendly whenever you go out to stores and bars and things. So I imagine they have a great time with the holidays like this article mentions. All right, guys, it's time to jump into 10 or 11, rather, Harry Potter questions picked for Brenda Martinez. We're going to do those right now. Here we go. All right, here we go with some Harry Potter trivia. Let's put on those wizard caps and grab your wands and see how many you can get right out of 11. Number one, what position does Harry play on his Quidditch team? Question number one, what position does Harry play on his Quidditch team? Number one. Question number two, what transforms any metal into gold and produces the elixir of life? Number two, what transforms any metal into gold and produces the elixir of life? Question number three, what is the not-so-scary name of the three-headed dog in the series? Number three, what's the not-so-scary name of the three-headed dog? 
Question number four, who poses as Mad-Eye Moody, Harry's fourth year defense against the dark arts professor? Was it Barty Crouch Jr., Sirius Black, Voldemort, or Peter Pettigrew? Number four, who poses as Mad-Eye Moody in the fourth book? Is it Barty Crouch Jr., Sirius Black, Voldemort, or Peter Pettigrew? Number five on your list, an auror is a person that is trained to catch blank. A auror is a person that is trained to catch who? Number five. Question number six, who kills Professor Dumbledore? Number six, who kills Professor Dumbledore? Number six. Question number seven, what does Harry use to catch his first snitch? Number seven, what does Harry use to catch his first snitch? Question number eight, what is the name of Hagrid's half-brother? Number eight, what's the name of Hagrid's half-brother? Question number nine, like Voldemort, Harry is a parcel mouth, a wizard that can speak to what? Number nine, like Voldemort, Harry is a parcel mouth, a wizard that can speak to what? Number 10, who is killed by the basilisk after seeing a pair of great big yellow eyes? And that's in quotes, so that is uh, what this person says. Number 10, who is killed by the basilisk after seeing a great big pair of yellow eyes? And number 11, your two-point bonus question. According to the Sorting Hat, what two qualities does Ravenclaw possess? Number 11, what two qualities does Ravenclaw possess? Those are your questions for this Harry Potter quiz. We'll be right back in just a second with the answers. Happy July birthday, Brenda. We are back with the answers to Harry Potter trivia. Let's see how you did out of 11. Number one, what position does Harry Potter play on his Quidditch team? He is a seeker. Number one, a seeker. Number two, what transforms any metal into gold and produces the elixir of life? That was the Sorcerer's Stone, if you remember. Number two. The Sorcerer's Stone. Number three, what is the not-so-scary name of the three-headed dog? That would be Fluffy. Fluffy. Number four, who poses as Mad-Eye Moody, Harry's fourth year defense against the Dark Arts Professor. Man, they have a lot of bad luck with these professors of the Dark Arts. It was Barty Crouch Jr. Number four, Barty Crouch Jr. Number five, an Auror is a person that is trained to catch who? Dark Wizards, number five, Dark Wizards. Number six, who kills Professor Dumbledore? That would be Cerverus Snape. He he has to, number six. Number seven, what does Harry use to catch his first snitch? His mouth, number seven. That sounds dirty, but it's not. Number seven, his mouth. Number eight, what is the name of Hagrid's half-brother? Grop, G-R-A-W-P, Grop. I wish I had a half-brother named Grop. That would be kind of fun. Number nine, like Voldemort, Harry is a parcel mouth, a wizard that can speak to snakes. Snakes, number nine. Number 10, who is killed by the basilisk after seeing a pair of great big yellow eyes? Moaning Myrtle. She's talking about that. Number 10, Moaning Myrtle. And number 11, for two points, according to the Sorting Hat, what are the two qualities that Ravenclaw possesses? Wit and learning. Wit and learning. I hope you get a little bit of both of those out of listening to this podcast every day. There you go. Happy birthday, Brenda. Harry Potter trivia, six months late. I hope you still enjoyed it. And now it's time for one more question called the question of the day. Brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. Check them out for all your design needs at fmdesignsinc.com. Who played Danny Tanner on Full House? Tweet me your answer at RyanBuds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Greyhound for the dog breed we were looking for with the anagram. And your trivia team name of the day is David Bowie Knife. David Bowie Knife. Thank you guys so much for listening to the show. Thanks for telling a friend. I hope you have a great holiday weekend, the last one before Christmas time. And we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. (music) 